you guys, it's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about your science GPA slash overall GPA and getting into PA school because I've been getting a lot of questions about, you know, can I get into PA school with this particular GPA? And it's usually below like a 2.0. It's like 1.8, 1.7, sometimes it's a 2.0. But um, I wanted to sit down and like just do a video for you all and talk to you about that um, to help you along this journey. So if you are in that boat, you are you have a GPA that is like below a 2.75 and you're trying to get into PA school, this video is for you. Let's get into the video right now. All right, what's up you guys? First and foremost, I want to say happy Father's Day to all my fathers out there, all the dads. Um, my dad and my husband who are great fathers, I just want to say happy Father's Day. We love you. We appreciate you. Um, but let's get into the video about GPA, okay? And if you have a father or, you know, if you should if your father's in your life go ahead and say happy father say to your father today but yes let's get to the video on gpa so with respect to the gpa i keep getting asked these questions you know in pa school you have to have um well to get into pa school you need to have both a science gpa and um an overall gpa typically the the average that most people go for is above or at minimum at a 3.0. Now, obviously, like I said, PA school is pretty competitive. So a lot of people are coming into PA school with GPAs at like 3.8, 3.7, 4.0s even, um, you know, trying to apply and get into PA school. So it's very competitive. So having a 3.0 um, isn't impossible to get into PA school, but it's pretty difficult. Um, and I've been getting asked questions about like, oh, I have like a 2.5, I have a 2.25, like, can I get into PA school? Um, and when they're talking about 2.5 and 2.25, the, the GPA that they're talking about is their overall GPA, okay? Now, your overall GPA is a, like an accumulation of all of the classes that you've taken, but PA school also takes into consideration your science GPA, which is literally just your science courses that you've taken. Um, and some schools calculate your science and math GPA on their own apart from CASPA, and so that's also something that you have to keep in mind. So can you get into PA school with a 2.5, a 2.2, um, a 1.8 GPA? Uh, let me just say anything below a 2. Can you get into PA school? The answer is no. I mean, I, I really want to be like honest and open with you guys because I'm not trying to like feed into this narrative of like, oh, I've gotten into PA school with a low GPA. And yes, that is something that people have done. They've gotten into PA school with a low GPA, but low GPA is relative. What is a low GPA? Um, um, for some people, it's anything lower than a 3.0. For others, uh, you know, like my friend that I did a video on, and I'll link that video for you guys, her GPA was lower than a 2.0. It was like a 1.8 or something along those lines, but that was her undergraduate GPA. And I wanna make that distinction that a lot of these people who are saying like, hey, I've gotten into PA school with a low GPA, we have to make the distinction that this is undergrad GPA, and therefore they've worked very hard post grad to now bring that GPA up to a point where they're able to be eligible to get into PA school. I don't know if you guys have heard like that thing where it's like not eligible. Well, you know what? Like with a GPA below a 3.0, you are not eligible to get into a lot of these PA programs. There are some PA programs that don't have a GPA um, requirement that say that their GPA requirement is 2.5 or 2.75. But guess what? The people that are applying to those schools are still the ones applying to the schools that have a 3.0 GPA and their GPAs are still 3.75, 3.85. So you're competing against the masses that have GPAs above a 3.0. And so therefore you're like 1.7, you're 2.5, you're 2.5. Um, seven five doesn't look as good. So there are things that you have to do to ensure that you are competitive and able to get in with your low GPA of like 1.8 for your undergraduate GPA. And that is getting your ducks in a row in terms of if you're going to do a post back um, and making sure that you're doing like amazingly in this post back or looking at schools that just just allow or take into consideration the last 60 or the last 100 credits. Now, if that is a school that 
is if there's schools that are doing that and you know in your last 60 or 100 credits you have like a gpa that is a 3.3 or a 3.5 or even a 4.0 you you like did really bad your first couple years of undergrad and then your last two years like most of us do you picked it up because you realize like i'm now in college and i need to get my act together and i i have to figure out like what i'm doing with my life then those are the schools that you apply to you have to be very strategic when applying to pa school if you have a low undergraduate gpa and so I just wanted to make that distinction for you um, and point that out. And I guess maybe next week or later on, I can give you some tips and tricks on how to get into PA school with a low GPA in terms of some of those things where it's like applying to schools that have a lower GPA requirement or no GPA requirement at all, or they only look at the last 60 to 100 credits, okay? So if you're interested in that, come back to that video. Again, there are many resources out there for you with respect to like, getting your anatomy and physiology grade up, like Rosh Review has that, um, and you know, getting your um, chemistry grade up. Uh, I did like a chemistry course um, when it, I was just studying for like my GRE. There, there are resources out there for you, okay? So you're just gonna have to look for it um, and figure out what works best for you and your lifestyle. But the answer is, like across the board no you're not getting in with that low gpa um as your final gpa okay it cannot be like you cannot be trying to get into pa school with a 1.8 gpa it's not going to happen it, it really isn't okay it has to be like in conjunction with another gpa in conjunction with like other things and so we'll talk about that a little bit more next week um so if you're interested and you're you want to get into pa school you have a low undergraduate gpa come back next week if you guys have any other questions for me based on this video drop them in the comment section below um if you like this video go ahead and like the video uh, please subscribe and follow me on instagram i know it wasn't necessarily what some of you guys wanted to hear but i want to be real so that you guys can actually take a very like broad picture and assessment of what you're going to need to do to um, be competitive to get into PA school. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.